right, some technique warm-ups with the plectrum. I'm gonna start with the open fist, and the thumb is going to come over like a button. Pressing a button, but the thumb is gonna come at about the first knuckle, or maybe just behind the first knuckle. I'm gonna have an open fist, not closed, because that creates tension in the muscles. We need to stay open and relaxed. So the pick, I'm not gonna have just a small amount held because I'll get more tension that way and the pick won't have much control. I need to keep the hand relaxed. Gonna go very close to the point. <clears throat> the tip of my pick is gonna come out in the center between the this knuckle and the fingertip. Then I'm gonna put my thumb over the back. I'm gonna make sure that my thumb isn't only on part of it, but covering all of the back, maybe even sticking out a little bit more. To me, that's sort of how I hold the pick. And I have a lot of control, but I'm very gentle and loose and relaxed in the muscles here. So we have to keep this as relaxed as possible so that it can move um, for long periods of time and be really efficient with the least amount of energy. So we want to also reduce resistance to the string when we're picking. I'm going to work on uh, rest stroke techniques and I'm going to use the angle for this. So instead of going flat to the string, like I would be, um, how would we say that? That'd be going flat into the string, you see you get stuck. So we have to find different angles. So the angle I'm going to use is a 45. And when I come at that 45 degree angle, I'm going to go through the string and sort of ramp across the this edge of the pick, which reduces tons of resistance so you don't get stuck when you go through the string. So 45 degree angle, and I'm gonna practice going down and up. And I'm gonna use um, a position with the wrist, which you have to be careful not to be really tense or really hardly fixed, but the, the wrist bone here or the bottom of the palm, the base of the palm, I'm gonna very gently rest it on the bigger string. And it's gonna be allowed to move like a floating uh, position here. But no, don't press hard and don't bend back your wrist like this, or you can uh, injure yourself in there and get a lot of tension. We don't want that, we wanna keep it as relaxed as possible and not bent back. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna let my hand just relax and you'll notice it kind of falls a bit to the side, which is actually the mid range of motion all the way up, all the way down. It's kind of in the middle there. So 45 degree angle, I've got my metronome at 40 beats a minute and I'm gonna practice doing different rhythms, uh, picking strings into all different combinations I can think of here. So gently relaxed, 45, this style of picking. One, two, I'm gonna go down, 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 three, four. And then I practice changing strings. So second string, but resting. So these are called rest strokes, or apoyando, where I pick through get a consistent angle and trying to get my wrist starting swinging from um, that position there and changing to the third string trying to keep things relaxed not pressing down and bending that out trying to get used to the beat then change the fourth string string or on the saddle here very gently. Then we're going to change to the fifth string. It could almost be a palm mute if you came out uh, and touched the string, but if you're a bit behind it, it won't be a palm mute. And what you 
you'll notice is when you change strings, you're, you have to actually drop the whole forearm down. So let's practice dropping the forearm when we go like this. So big string, the string below it, string below it, you'll see I'm dropping from up here now. So changing each string is like its own set of gears. So string six would be like the sixth gear. So we're, we're quite high up here now, right? We drop down. You see that the wrist isn't moving. It's actually moving from up here as I change strings. That's called raking or sweeping. But that happens whenever we change strings. I just think of them as six gears. So that was all down motions. Let's practice doing the same with all up motions. So on up motions, I'm gonna practice doing, let's see. On my down strokes here, they, they were rest strokes. On my up strums, I'm going to do escape strokes. So I'm gonna come, or free strokes, where I come out of the string. These are not rest strokes on my up. Rare, very rarely do I do rest strokes on the up. So I'm not going to start practicing that. I suppose you could. Again, starting at the 45 and trying to get... This is all wrist motion, but very relaxed. Then the second string, up. a string, I pick from the wrist. So it's kind of like a lot of physics, um, or like a robot arm or a bicycle gear that's changing, right? <clears throat> so you've got the gear uh, movement fulcrum here, and you've also got another gear fulcrum there. So you can shift from here, or you can shift from there, based on what string you're on. So we did all downs, rest strokes, we did ups, free strokes, 45 degree angle with the palm resting on the bridge, very gently, not pivoting back. This is really common in electric guitar techniques and some uh, speed guitar players uh, do this. Um, but yeah, there's a few different ways you can hold the hand. So this is, this is one warm up to practice this style. Um, so the next thing is we're gonna combine our down and ups like this. So I'm going to start on the smallest string, let my hand fall, pivot to what we call the um, anatomical position, which is not straight, because straight is not mid-range of motion. Mid-range of motion actually falls down just a little bit. So keeping the open fist close to the tip point, that's how I do it. You can try different grips, but this is, this is my style for this, this version here. <coughs> The smallest string, 45 degree angle, we're gonna go down and up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So my elbow's in place, fixed in place, but my wrist is doing the motion. One, and down, up, 45 degree angle. Trying to find a relaxed swing and kind of get in the groove there. Go to the second string. I have to lift up to go to the second string from the elbow. I'm going to try and do down strokes. So I feel the string underneath it. Every time I go down and up, I come out. Now I'm going to shift strings, so I have to lift from the elbow. That wasn't a wrist thing, that was an elbow. The third string. Mm -hmm. 